Hello students and welcome to the spring 21 semester of the College of Arts and Sciences at Regent University. Specifically, welcome to our course together. This is Genie 250, Making of the Christian Life. We are in section 15, an eight-week version of this course online. My name is Michael Lucas, Doctor of Ministry, as well as Master of Divinity. You can refer to me or call me uh, Dr. Mike, if you like. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and sharing this great journey with you. I wanted to come here on the weekend prior to our course opening this coming Monday to just say hello and to connect you and orient you just a bit on what you should expect in this course and specifically week one. Genie 250, Making of the Christian Life, is intended to be an examination of of how one goes about establishing a code of values, morality, ethics for living, specifically in light of what Scripture has to say about God's values as revealed in what we call the Ten Commandments. You may be familiar with the phrase Judeo-Christian values. Those have to do with the worldview that Scripture is God's revelation of how he wants his people to think, feel, and act, particularly in association with one another in community as a part of his diverse creation. So we're going to be looking at what are commonly known as the Ten Commandments in uh, the books of the law in Exodus as well as Deuteronomy. But more than that, we're going to be looking at these subjects of how to establish uh, a standard of ethics or morality in relationships and personal conduct, our own set of values by which we live, in, in order to compare and contrast with those that have been established from other sources beyond Scripture, beyond what is known as the Judeo-Christian Foundation. So, we're going to be looking at morality and ethics from an ancient philosophy perspective, but we're also going to be looking at contemporary philosophers, some beyond uh, the borders of Christianity, and how they compare or contrast with the Christian life. And uh, that, I believe, is going to be quite enlightening to us and guide us down a path of decision about what we believe and how we are going to live as we compare and contrast all of these approaches to the meaning, purpose, the values, and the standards by which we live and relate to one another. It's going to be a fascinating course. I think you are really going to enjoy it. For right now, as we get ready for the opening of our course this coming Monday, I want to do two things with you. Number one, I want to invite you to go into the course shell. It's already there and open for you. And begin familiarizing yourself, making yourself at home. Uh, be sure to uh, view the video or read the transcript uh, from our dean that orients us on the course. Begin looking at the syllabus. I'll come back to that in a moment. And look in each of the areas of the course content. There are eight folders labeled with both the week number and the dates for that week. And just generally familiarize yourself with, with the course. Let's come back to that syllabus. That's going to be our compass for our course. Everything you need to know about upcoming assignments, about grading, about assignment submissions, and those kinds of policies are found right there in the syllabus. So I urge you to open it, read it, download it, keep it somewhere nearby, hard copy or electronic version, because you'll want to uh, consult and revisit it throughout our course. Also, the syllabus is vital in week one because we have in week one what is called a syllabus quiz. It's an indicator that you have read and understand the basic core uh, important uh, points, uh, data points, or bullet points in the uh, syllabus, and your completion of this syllabus quiz by the end of week one, which will be Sunday, January 17, 
sends a message to the registrar's office that you intend to stay enrolled in our course. So it's vital that you uh, look at the syllabus for its own purposes as well as complete uh, the syllabus quiz. Also, I want to urge you, if you've not already done so, to be sure to pick up your volume of the only other required uh, readings that we have, text that we have in this course, a book written by Philip Graham Riken titled Written in Stone, The Ten Commandments and Today's Moral Crisis. We start out in week one reading from this, so you'll want to have it on hand either in hard copy or uh, in electronic form. EPUB or Kindle, whatever version you might want to use. But be sure to get this. This, along with your version of the scripture, uh, are going to be the two required texts. Everything else that's needed for the course is already loaded, and you'll find those materials in a couple of places that I'll point out on uh, the beginning of the course, week one. In the meantime, I want to let you know I'm praying for you. I'm eager to meet with you beginning our course on Monday, and I'm keeping you uh, in thought throughout the weekend. You can reach me uh, by the use of my faculty email address. It's in instructor info and also listed on the syllabus, as well as my mobile number. Uh, please follow the guidelines that I provide there for how you may call or text me. But I look forward to our time together, and uh, we will see each other again on Monday. May God bless you.